action! Alright, hey guys, we're back, and uh, guess what? Uh, our heroes have made it through the dungeon, leaving a wreck of, you know, tomfoolery and carnage in their wake. And now... No death. And no death, surprisingly. Just horrible maiming. They're no still... Death. No death. No death. No death run. Uh, pacifism run. Death run. Yeah. Um, well, now you are in the chamber of Hephaestus' Sphinx, a stone sphinx that stands guard of, uh, he can't, it doesn't move, but in order to get into his forge, you have to answer his three riddles. The first was a test of strength, which was the door. Now is a test of your wits to see if you actually deserve any of Hephaestus' weapons. Wow, well, we're fucked. Yep. So the Get Sphinx. The blonde cheerleader over here. Yeah, blonde cheerleader and you know the gang. All right, let's do this. So the okay. Sphinx goes. Are you ready for the first riddle? Okay. Yeah. Riddle number one. You will always find me in the past, but I can be created in the present. But the future can never taint me. What am I? I roll knowledge. Let's get a hint. I... Uh, yeah, I've been just sitting here thinking. It's uh, like, what, what, could knowledge or wisdom work? Either way. <laughs> uh, do you want me to repeat the, uh, it, it'd be knowledge. Yeah. All right. So it would have to be an intelligence roll. Yep. One sec. I want... I want to see if I have anything that could ha have me, like, justify. No. No. Okay, so I will just roll a flat 20 minus 2. Alright. Go for it. I got a th 3. <laughs> um, a fly enters your ear and comes out the other side. God damn. <laughs> Hi, uh, Hayden, do you have any guess? Okay, repeat the riddle. The riddle is, you will always find me in the past, I can be created in the present, but the future can never taint me. I know what it is. Do I need to roll to see if my character knows what it is? Um, no. Okay, it's history. Uh... <laughs> Feeling it was something along the lines, yeah. Yep, you took it. Uh, the Finx eyes glow. Uh, Hayden, uh, it, they glow blue to indicate you're correct. All right. Awesome. Okay. Perfect. All right. Next one. Uh, give me a second. Um. Oh, where, where did this riddle go? I had one. Give me a second. Uh, well, I lost it, but you know what? Feed me and I live, yet give me a drink and I die. What am I? Oh, jeez. What is this? I, I, I roll intelligence. Yeah, this one's actually very easy. I rolled a 14. Mm, feed me and I live. It, it has to do with one of the four elements. So what, what was the riddle again? Feed me and I live. Yet give me a drink and I Bye. die. The eyes, oh, yeah. the eyes glow blue. <laughs> Alright. Uh... I, I'd like to imagine Kat was just sitting here, sitting there rubbing her temples, thinking, I, I didn't stump, Terpa score is just gritting stupidly, and then she just hops up, claps her hands, shouting fire. <laughs> Alright, here's a harder one. We traveled the sea far and wide. At one time, Two of my sailors were standing on opposite sides of the ship. 
One was looking west, the other one east. And at the same time, they could, they could, they could see each other clearly. How can that be possible? At one time, two sailors were standing on opposite sides of a ship. One was looking west, the other was east, and at the same time they could see each other clearly. How could that be possible? But they're looking away from each other. Oh. That's because they're lo oh. looking west and east does not mean technically they're still lo not looking the same direction. So one could be on one side looking at the other guy and one could be on the other side looking at the other guy. Yeah, I, I said so, that as I was saying that, yeah. So they're on other sides of what? Of the they, they're, what he's saying is that the, the two sailors are at other ends of the ship, yes. But the, the eyes ship, glow blue! Yeah. yeah. Alright. The door opens. Enter. Right. Where is the door? Um, it's below right. you. Um, so I'm going to zoom out to reveal Hephaestus' forge. Probably not as cool as I wanted to make it out to be, but you know. It's kind of hard in... Holy oh, shit. <laughs> All I see oh. is the giant snake woman. Yeah. Dead anvil, though. Yeah. Dead anvil, though. Yeah. <laughs> That anvil. Oh my god. There's so many tools on that table. So many ways to kill her. Uh. Oh, and uh, real quick, uh, for Echidna. Yep. I need to give her something. Uh, she, she has an aura around her. What's a good color of the aura? Eh, yeah, fuck it. I'll make, no it. I'll make it. I'll make it a magenta. Magenta? Yep. You weirdo. So, uh, wait, give me a sec to fix that. Um, give me a sec. There you go, that makes much more sense. So you enter. Uh, arrange yourselves how you like, but you cannot pass, uh, my line I've made right here, with my ruler. Yeah. Okay. What are these, by the way? These, are these balls, or...? Those are just a part of the tile. Okay. Um, so Hephaestus' Forge is a pretty dark room for the most part. Uh, with the only thing causing any bit of illumination is uh, the fire, the big giant massive volcanic flame behind it. Um, you do see, uh, for the most part, it keeps the room pretty let lit, but there are some pretty harsh shadows. And this snake woman with just sort of weird dragon-like serpents for hair. And she's like, she goes, he's, what do you want? Eh. Oh, cat's not in the room. <laughs> she seems uh, to be searching through uh, Hephaestus' weapons to see what there is. It's like, boring. Thro and he throws a mirror-like shield. And it shatters on the ground. <laughs> she has to go. Oh, sorry. Yeah, she said, "What do you want?" I, I all, all I can think of is hide and looks at her companionship. <laughs> God. Uh, she's like, I already have a companion. The Typhon sent you. Yes. It was. Yes. It was very. It was typhoon. 
It was type. Shut up, Derby. <laughs> She's Curse like, cat. tell him to fuck off. I have new cat, lover cat. now. <laughs> cat was just shaking her head the entire time, so. <laughs> I have new lover now. Get out of here. God of gods, Zeus. He is so handsome. So beautiful. He says I am his one and only. And we are going to get married. He's going to dump bitch wife Hera. For me. Uh, um. Wait. Didn't Typhon eat all the other gods? Or actually does she know that first off? She would not. She's been Never mind. hiding in here. Redconning. <laughs> Rewind. <laughs> Alright. Alright, what do you say? She's like, if you have no business here, then you could either leave, or I am pre pretty hungry right now. Uh, cat walks up. I don't know what the other two were talking about with Typhon sending us here, it, it, but Hephaestus did. He wants wow. his forge back. He wants it back. He can have it over my dead fucking scales. Can't we have a compromise? <laughs> Fuck that <laughs> ugly old bastard. Shed your skin. Oh yeah, we can shed your skin. Good luck. No ordinary sword or man could penetrate my scales. And all of you, except the weird little cue ball over there, look pretty fucking ordinary. Wait, what? You all look pretty fucking ordinary. Ordinary. Except for Terp's score? Except for Terp's score, yeah. Was say, when, when, uh, when she said nothing can penetrate my scales, they're like, yeah, you can't even beauty, I said to myself. Shit, do you... I'm gonna roll I percent... Say... <laughs> yeah, go ahead! Go ahead! He was gonna say it anyway. I mean, it's up to... Um... What do I roll? What is this against? Um... Let's just say, uh, do you have a skill comedy? Uh, do I have a skill what? Actually, you know, you know what? Roll stealth. Roll stealth? Okay. Yep. Um, after this, I, I forgot I should probably roll sense motive on Echidna. I'm sure it doesn't matter, but, you know. Yeah. Um, perception... <laughs> She hears you. Yeah, of course she does. She moves closer, coiling around. Mm -hmm. And the, uh... What happens is, uh, when she passes by the anvil... Actually, I'm gonna thin her out a bit. Oh, God. Ew, that's even weird. It actually looks a bit better, if you ask me. <laughs> yeah, it depends on... <laughs> It looks like an actual snake. Why is the aura like so fucking big? I mean, I, I don't see the aura, by the way. We don't see it at all. Oh, you don't? Okay. Uh, uh, you need, you need I did it. So that I everyone can see. I did it. There we go. Holy shit, that's a big aura. Yep. Yeah. She's surrounded by this stuff, like this sort of gaseous cloud that sort of stings everything. Like, you can see that anvil, even though it's made of, like, some sort of godlike steel, it's getting seared a little bit by being near it. Is this the poison um, that I um, made? <laughs> um, actually, to be perfectly honest, it's not even an accurate representation, because it's only really, it's, it shouldn't be that wide. It's only meant to go out, like, two squares from her. But uh, you 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 could just reduce it by a couple of points. The exact number is a little, little weird. Yeah, like I'm at. Let me let me try this. God, really? 
Okay. I have an idea. Maybe this will work. Are you fucking kidding me? It did not. All right. Uh. Yeah. So, roll twenty is being weird. So as, as long as you're like two squares, uh, as long as you're two squares away, you should be fine. For the most part, you don't know what her or sort of toxic aura does. We just know it's ascetic. Yep. Slightly. She's like, are you get uh, so she's like, say it again, you little, you little fucking queer. Queer. Uh, we're using playground insults now, are we, Mrs. <laughs> uh, uh, no, you, you, you probably will want to be full. I'll, I'll give you that. But you know, with everything, beauty fades. Roll initiative. <laughs> oh, that's me again, huh? Yeah. 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 <laughs> Alright. Yeah, you get lucky. You get to go first. Uh, before madness, D4. Three turns! Good luck, everybody. God yep. damn. Uh, does anyone have a plan of action for... I have... I mean, uh, really quick, are these um, green blocks just tiling, or are they tables? Uh, the the gray ones? Yeah, they're, they're tiling. Okay. I was gonna... Yeah, so one question. She's... Basically only pissed at me, right? Or she pissed at the entire party? Um, she'd be willing to eat all of you. But she's going to try and aim for me first, obviously. Yeah. Prime target. Well, you, you have pissed her off the most. Okay. So I have three action points, right? Yep. We all have three, yeah. Yep. Yeah. Well, By the way, the, the door seals behind you. Thought so. Uh, so, but just because I think it'd be the easiest idea, let's just hit her with a bunny. All right, go for it. Bunny, <laughs> level of bunny at her head. Cat just turns. Wait, what? Fifteen. Got the bunny. Uh, let me check. Uh, you <laughs> hit. Ah, excuse me. You hit. hit. Yep. Roll damage. Huh. Uh, that's 2d6 plus 12. So yeah. Actually, you know what? If you're inside the purple area, you are affected by the toxic. She okay. starts to fumiate even more so. Okay. Is, it, are so, they in the aura, though? Uh, the bunny? No. Uh, uh you guys, know. you guys, no, not yet. If You see it the aura. It like he was. I'm sorry, not yet. So, um, that is 18 damage, minus 2, that's 16. Alright, okay. so a bunny hits her square across the face. You could, uh, she sort of spits out a tooth as the bunny sort of like tries to hop away, but as it hops away, it just dissolves. Until a skeleton scatters across the floor and then the skeleton melts. One question: How much? How how far can I move with one app? Uh, your movement speed. Okay. Thirty move. feet on average. Yeah. Um, can I can I move through allies like terribly far? Uh. You, we we have been up to this point. Yeah. Okay. I just want to know. So I I'm gonna use my disappearing act. I'm gonna turn invisible. All right. And move my thirty feet. Alright, uh, good. So, from where I am, if I go over there. It doesn't need to be in straight lines, by the way. I know, but I just want to move. Alright. Basically, as much as possible from her. So, my disappearing act will work until I'm 
I attack. Right. Or do like a really major action, yeah. Yeah. She just sort of goes, where did he go? Alright, uh... That's a very good question. Terpsichore, what do you want to do? Make him dance. Woohoo, he did. I'm afraid it's time to dance. <laughs> oh no. I thought you were going to say it was time for the big gay dance. <laughs> Let's do the fuck in the garbage disposal. God. <laughs> But it's dirty dancing again. It's the yes dance. The yes dance? Oh, <laughs> no. No. I, I have an actual plan. Okay. But, uh, yes, we, we, are, we are going to do flash mob. You, you will dance as I do. Uh, I have to roll a will save. What's the DC? 25. 25. I think we need to adjust that because no one's going to make that. Make well, smart no. enemy. No one with a low will in any event, and considering we are fighting the monsters, will's probably not a general strong suit. Yeah. This was like against gods, it's a different story. Yeah. yeah. So. Well, yeah, monsters would probably have lower will, but like, people and other god like beasts. Also, like, this, this girl oh. can't have no. a high will. She thinks that Zeus is going to drop everyone for her. Oh well, <laughs> yeah, you're number twenty-eight. She, That's about what you are. She uh, not twenty. She's okay. Yep. So she's like, she's practically right now just going. What are you doing? <laughs> what is this? What's da happening? Da dance off, bro. Dance off. <laughs> she's doing a snake. If she she's actually snake. asks. Terpsichore would be like, this is what I was created to do. Pitiful. What do you want to do next? You got two more actions. I was going to say, can I try again? You can try again. Alright. Yeah. Doesn't make it this time. Yeah, no. so... so she uh, starts to uh, wiggle her hips a little bit, sort of going along. What? What is going on? Why can't? God damn it! <laughs> Yay! <laughs> uh, I'm gonna say that uh, all, just because you know how ridiculous this power has been. If she's able to do it without moving her body, or, you know, like, let's say if something were to come out of something other than her hands, tail, and other oh, things. yeah, if she had, like, eye beams or a breath weapon, yeah. Yeah, so, you know, that's fair. So, yeah, she's compelled to dance. Um, so... What do you do next, Terpsichore? And therein lies your downfall. I move forward. Wait, what? You move forward? I move forward. But ah. since she's copying me, she moves back to match. Oh. Uh, oh, yeah. So how, how, how far do you move forward? I'm going my full speed straight forward. 30. Yep. Um, 30. Oh, I know what's happening. <laughs> Good. She oh, you're slides not... back. You're, you're not, Lena. We are not having a snake. Oh. <laughs> it's okay. I have things. I uh, know. If this wasn't destined to work forever. Cat. What do you do? There are also, uh, do note that there are two levers on the side of you. I know. I'm, I'm gonna roll um, sense motive to see if she understands what Terpiscore is doing. Uh. Yeah. Or, or would it be intelligence? Uh, sense motive is fine. 
Okay. <laughs> God, the noise you just made. <laughs> Twenty-three. Uh, you can you can tell that Terpsichor is trying to push her into the fire. Oh, oh dear. She she runs up ends up passing by the uh, anvil. Is like, are you are you sure there's no other way? <laughs> I mean, this is Cat we're talking about. She thoughts for a moment and is like, uh, Echidna. <laughs> what? As she diggle, as she dances, that that she's sort of doing like a cha cha side to the left and right now, <laughs> clapping her hands, going, "What is it? I am stuck <laughs> dancing. What could you possibly ask me right now?" Well, you're gonna end up dancing, so long as my friend here is dancing. So, if you don't want to keep on dancing, we can let you off. And we won't have to kill you. Kill me! Ah! I am mother of monsters! You would never be able to kill me. And I... wife of a, a whore! Anyways. I don't know. That fire behind you could is made by Hephaestus and whatnot. Yeah. Who cares? If Zo I'll be in Tartarus if I die. And then I'll just come back. Like oh. Those fires come straight from Tartarus. How else do you think gods make their weapons? Cat sits here and thinks about it for a moment. That explains so much. Uh... Anything else you want to do on your turn? Do you want to take defensive action? I don't know. Um... Cat's just gonna move over here. And set up pure defense. Or would my sense motive have been an action point? Uh, I'm gonna <laughs> say. Uh, I'm gonna say. Uh, no, you can do your pure defense. Okay. All right. All right. She. Uh, it's her turn now, I guess. And uh, you've made a terrible mistake. Uh, she sort of sucks in most of her aura. Yep. And, uh, um, and, uh, let me see, uh, yeah, yeah, you're, you're, yep. Uh, oh. Yeah, roll uh, a couple of things. Yeah, roll a reflex save. Uh, Terpsichor and uh, Cat. Terpsichor, roll reflex. Twenty, of course. Oh, I, I miscalculated a lot of things. Um, actually, no. Wait. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> I was checking a few things. Um, yep. Yeah. <laughs> so. <laughs> I'm sorry. I am so sorry. I am kind of dying right now. What the second? Oh, oh shit! Wow, Danny, you're okay. Uh, Terp, <laughs> you actually yeah. did not make it. Oh wow! You were off by two. Um. But your DR might absorb most of this damage. Um, so she does uh, damage equal to her threat level. Which is uh, pretty damn hard, uh, if I do say so myself. Um, and uh, Terpsichore? Yeah. Roll me a fortitude save now. Uh, your DR takes off two. Oh, three. Three. So you only take 49 damage. Yeah. So you, s Danny, uh, Cat, Cat sees her just sucking a lot, all this poisonous aura. 
And she fucking breathes it out into this fucking cone of just toxic breath. And you dodge out of the way. Unfortunately, Terpsichore takes the full blunt. Blunt. <laughs> Anywho. Uh, Terp. Were you wearing any uh any any cloth garments are pretty much gone at this point. Uh garments. Yeah, I, I, if you were wearing any cloth, I don't know. Um you are also just seared, but roll me a fortitude save real quick. Oh, that's what that fifteen was. Yeah. Oh, uh, that's what that fifteen was? Yes. Okay. And now you will be suffering a lingering effect. Ooh, sister, it's on. And it's armor piercing, so uh, she does that, and uh, let me see what else she does, because that takes two AP, and she has three. Um, uh, she tr Yeah, it. She can't really do anything else, so she is going to over. Uh, she's going to try to focus and try to get out of your uh, dancing spell, and she can't. All right, uh, it's your guys' turn again, guys. You, you guys make any moves you want to before <coughs> Terpsichore starts moving back again. Terpsichore, on Forward. this turn, you take three damage armor piercing. Ugh. What did I miss? Um, you were there for uh, Terp, uh, the breath weapon, yes? Kind of. I was dying. Um, you heard me coughing up the lung. I'm sorry. Uh, yeah, Terp took the full force of the of the 30 foot cone spray and okay. and basically uh yeah she terp is looking pretty bad and is now suffering uh is corroding it toxic with the toxic uh, aura just spat out on her so you guys make any actions you want before Terp starts uh, pushing back towards that fire again. Yeah. Thirty. Hmm. Hmm. What was the poison damage again? Um, it was like, fifty. Like next turn, kind of thing. Yeah, it, 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 it'll linger, and it's going to double in D6s every turn. It's not treated, so. So it's a 1D6 starting off right now. Yep, and she oh, already... she used Toxic on me. <laughs> yep, pretty much. <sighs> so, you know. Good luck. Okay, well, um... Would, would going into the water... Okay, maybe I should roll intelligence to know this. Alright. Go, go, or, or sense motive, maybe. I'll, I'll let you use your wits. I'll let Ooh, you... I don't think sense motive would work in figuring out how to get rid of... Uh, that's, that's true. That's true. Either an intelligence or wisdom roll, because it's just more like... Uh, what do you do with poison? Try to clean the uh, area. Or a heal check. Or a heal cool. check. Or something along the lines of that. I do have medical, and I also have survival. Both are wisdom, so I will do that. Yeah. Go ahead. Uh, that could work. Damn. Seven. It, uh, too, um, strangely enough, who knew that there were dragonflies in ancient Greece that zipped through the ears of most people who live here? God dang it. Um, you're sort of confused, not sure what to do. I, I think she was just surprised that she was able to tank that. 
Yeah. Um, I, I could roll just to take a wild guess. Go I'm ahead. Yeah. This is intelligent. Uh, yep. Nineteen. Mike. You know, uh, even the you know stupid stupidest simpleton knows that if you're you know covered in some sort of awful chemical, best thing you could probably do is uh, wash it out. Exactly. All right. It's just so, like a bad after a bad night of sex, you just. Walk. What? I'm sure there are some. Wash it out. But yeah. <laughs> just wash it out. Wash it out. Beat the devil out What's of that? it. No, don't. Beat the devil Maybe. out of it. No. I'm quoting <laughs> Bob. Anyway, Bob Rush. Uh, anywho. Guys. Yep. Holy crap. Um. Ugh. Excuse me. Uh, cat's going to take a step back over here. Oh wait, and... you were you ended your turn uh ten feet near. Fuck. Would uh, that be an attack of opportunity? No, it's not. It's not that. It's more of you were technically because we 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 suggest. Oh wait, that's right. We reruled it. If you were inside the purple circle, you're inside the aura. Yeah. So okay, you're good. Oh okay. It, yeah, it, it's a very odd image to work with. So. Yeah. 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 Honestly, I I don't know why it's doing that. I mean, I guess it's only accepting because the original idea was like it would stretch out like surrounding her. I don't know. Well, it, well, well, I think in this case it's based on the image itself. What do you have the distance set to right now? It's set to um. God, it's like an a thousandth of a foot, and it's still doing that. It's still stretching really far out. Maybe if I well, do... Well, yeah, um, it, it's, it's based on the actual image by the looks of it, then. I don't know, really. Yep, yep, it needs to go back. Uh, so, yeah, uh, roll 20 errors aside... I'm healing Terpus score a bit. I have a thing. Um, where is it? Share life. Uh, Lena, Connor, you may be familiar with this. Not so much for Mike. Um, I am going to give Terpus score two, 32 points of health. Alright. And you're taking from your own, I'm presuming? Yep. My main health, that is. Alright. <coughs> you remember this, Lena? Yep, yeah, this is a very key thing. <laughs> I mean, for all, I'll be honest, Cat is a sort of modified gi. Yep. <laughs> sort of. Uh, emphasis on sort of. She's like a bizarre mixture of gi, um, another character that I'll be putting into Quest Nuts, and like traditional paladin stuff. Yep. So, uh, any other ideas? Uh, um, she is still suffering from, uh, the poison effect. Uh, is that little water thing to our left actually a thing? Yep, that is a water, a water thing. Well, Hi Hyden would need to tell Terpiscore, or Terpiscore would need to roll to know. Yeah. Yeah. I didn't can sneak around and play with it. Yeah, I didn't know. Uh, so... I mean, I, I, I can... Do know I, that I, if you do tell her, you will be revealed. Or at least, you know, your position might be given. What if I whisper it? I was gonna say, you might as well just sneak around and do it yourself. Yeah. By the rule... Ro <laughs> By the way, uh, Mike... Uh, roll me stealth, but twice and take the bit better result. Does it give you a base bonus for uh, being invisible or no? You never, you never put one in. You never put one in, so I'm just going to have you roll twice, take the better result. It's a 24. Yep, and you couldn't even beat both. All right. Yeah. Okay, anyways. So, uh, what do I want to do here? 
Uh, I can. Well, I wanted to damage the for them for 76, but that Turbiscar is getting poisoned. I'm kind of worried about that. And do know if you get in melee range, you are poisoned. Well, like, I can't sneak attack and chuck something? I mean, you could do that. Yeah. But yeah. So. My, my dagger's only meant. I only have one, and I don't really care about it if I lose it. Alright, go for it, my friend. Uh, so do I have to get any closer? Or? Um, the dagger can be thrown about 30 feet. Oh, okay. So I can but there's a big anvil in your way, so you do have to adjust. So what you're saying is I've already moved once, so if I move probably around over there, maybe? Yeah, yeah, you can move there. I, I, can, I can hit it directly on and I'll be close to the water. Yep. Okay, well, I'm going to check the dagger for them. Alright, chuck your dagger. Roll it. Against her flat footed. Oh, sh oh shit. Um. Her flat footed is 10. Yeah, I thought so. I'm not gonna do that. So your dagger flies into the aura and just fucking dissolves. Yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. and she just sort of laughs at you as you're revealed since you attacked alright take your ninja yeah. man off yeah, yeah I already sorry. did it anywho uh, are you guys good for this turn or do you have any uh, oh wait Terpsichore that's right yeah. yeah I can't do anything else and do I have full action I haven't done anything yet I'll yep anything. you haven't done anything it's time to move. I think it will cost one AP in order to maintain the dance. Sure. But for the most part, yeah. You can, uh... Let's see. I can't move straight forward through this, can I? Um, you could do a limbo thing because it sort of goes up a bit. It's just for in case of throwing a dagger. Ah. It wasn't like he was... Mike was like more right here. You're, you know, near that... Uh, I'm near the limbo. Yeah. Limbo. All right then. I will limbo. Do that. Roll a dance check real quick to see if you can roll underneath it. Performing arts. Performing arts check. Uh, okay. Roll it. Roll it. Keep rolling, 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 rolling. What? Twenty-three. Yeah. 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 You you manage to get underneath that thing. And you move 30 feet. And okay, she's gonna move boss? 30 feet. Oh, her tail's gonna get burnt. <laughs> and I still have one action left. Would anybody like to say anything? Because uh, Terps of course, sure will, he's just gonna... I mean, I, I'll look at her and say, I've always wanted to try fried snake. <laughs> well, you, you did a joke when it wasn't. <laughs> exactly. I pull out fries because I said fried. Yeah. <laughs> uh, cat. <laughs> cat. Any, anything you want to say? Danny? I guess not. Um, he's not a coughing bit. Yeah, he's on a coughing bit. I mean, I don't think without Danny it's kind of hard to do this because Danny's character would say no. Like, yeah. That. Uh, I mean, Terpsichore, would you do it with or without his approval? without. You don't even need an approval. Torp Zikar is a living statue that dance. Yeah. So, he has um, no reason to care for the human being. Yeah. I'm assuming this isn't going to kill her, though. It's going to take a while. Yep. 
And it's gonna take a chunk of her L. But I think as soon as she's lit on fire, Will's going to greatly improve. Um, but you know, I don't want to say too much. Uh, you know what? Go for it, Terpsichore. Well, Terpsichore apparently has danced himself out of the. Again. Wait, did Lena what? Let Lena's gone? Yes. No! Cliffhanger ending? Will Echidna be pushed into the flame? I want snake! Gosh. Will what? I ever get my fried snake? Will Lena ever get. Will, will Hayden ever get fried snake? Will Torpsichord ever win Dancing with the Stars? Will, Will Cat ever realize that she is not sexual intercourse is not a form of combat? Find out next time when we start recording again. Yeah, I guess. All right, see you guys. We'll be back.